Question number 18, the final question, and it has good substance within it. It says in list one below four different paths of a particle are given as function of time. In these four function, alpha, beta are positive constant, and alpha is not equal to beta. We'll see what is there in list one. And in each case, the force acting on the particle is either zero or conservative. So that's a clear indication mechanical energy would be conserved. In list two, five physical quantities of the particle are mentioned. And P, the linear momentum, angular momentum, K, kinetic energy, U is potential energy, E is total energy. And what is to be found out? Of course, E is the total mechanical energy, to be more precise. List one has to be matched with list two, where the parameters which are given, P, L, K, U, and E are conserved. That is what we need to see. Means through list one, we need to see amongst these five quantities which are conserved, P, L, K, U, and E. So stepwise we have to go. But in all case, one thing is sure, you could see that mechanical energy will be conserved because that's a fact when the force involved is only conservative in nature. All right, now let's see. First situation, R is alpha Ti cap plus beta J cap. Now here, R vector is alpha Ti cap plus beta Tj cap. Now, let's try to go stepwise. Just remember, what are the things that you need to see? The linear momentum, angular momentum, kinetic energy, potential energy, mechanical energy. We'll have to see which is conserved in all this situation. Now, if I see here, the velocity is alpha i cap plus beta j cap. Now, these are constant. So if velocity is constant, that means linear momentum that has to be conserved. Next is, we'll have to talk about the angular momentum. For angular momentum, you can directly see the angular momentum or you can see with the help of torque. This A, acceleration is coming out to be zero. That means the force is zero. So torque due to this force is zero. In other words, the angular momentum has to be conserved. After angular momentum, it is the time of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is very straightforward because the speed is constant. So kinetic energy has to be conserved. Then comes potential energy. Potential energy will be conserved when the work done by the conservative force is zero. Since acceleration is zero, so the force which is acting is conservative because the question has said that the force acting is only conservative. In other words, the force is zero, so work done by conservative force is zero, so potential energy is conserved. And mechanical energy that is conserved because we have already said in every situation given, mechanical energy is conserved because the force, if present, is only conservative. In other words, for option number P on the left-hand side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all are being conserved. So for P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all are being conserved. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, all are being conserved. By the way, in the examination, you need not solve the entire option if you can eliminate, but here you could see, Option C and D can be eliminated because for P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 exists only for A and B. But here, we are not into the elimination method we need to solve. Now, let's go for option number Q, when R is alpha cos omega T i cap plus beta sine omega T j cap. Whether the parameters given among them, what is conserved, what is not, we need to see. Let's see for that. Okay, let's go with option number Q. The position vector is alpha cos omega t and beta sine omega t. So here, we'll have to go stepwise without any hurry. R is alpha cos omega t i cap plus beta sine omega t j cap. In that situation, what will I get is say, velocity is minus alpha omega sine omega t i cap plus beta omega cos omega t j cap. 
Now that's a simple derivative, needless to go with other explanation. Acceleration is minus alpha omega square cos omega t i cap minus beta omega square sine omega t j cap. And if you see very carefully, this E is minus of omega square times r vector. However, this is not a simple harmonic. Motion is not happening in a straight line. All right, so here we got this thing. Now, let's see whether linear momentum is conserved or not. The answer is no, because velocity vector is not constant. So if we talk of linear momentum, that is not conserved. Then let's go for the angular momentum. That is conserved because the force is always opposite to R. That means force is always directed towards the origin. So torque is zero. Therefore, angular momentum is conserved. Then comes kinetic energy. That's straightforward because if you see, the speed is not constant. And if the speed is not constant, quite obviously, kinetic energy would not be conserved. Potential energy, this can be seen very easily. You know, mechanical energy is conserved if you want to go through an easier way. Mechanical energy is conserved for sure because the force acting is only conservative. And if this is conserved and kinetic energy is not conserved, in other words, potential energy would not be conserved either. For option number Q, 2 and 5, they are conserved. So let's try to see. For option number 2, or B rather, I should say that 2 and 5 are conserved. So for Q, yes, it was right. Option number 2 and 5 are conserved, angular momentum and mechanical energy. Now, let's see. If you see from this, for P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all were conserved. So this could be true or this could be true. They were already eliminated. And now you see for Q, 2 and 5 is conserved. And Q, 2 and 5 readily comes here. Now, if you are in the examination hall, this much was more than enough to come to option number A because option number Q, 3, 5 is there in B. So I should say, rather, the question is a bit ill-designed because right in the second attempt, you can easily guess. However, here we are going to verify because we are into the discussion part. And here, let's see, position vector for the R option is alpha cos omega t i cap and sine omega t j cap. So let's hear. For option number R, position vector is alpha cos omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap. Now, again, the same story. Let's calculate V. That's going to be minus alpha omega or let's not write the minus part. That's minus of sine omega t i cap plus of cos omega t j cap. If you take minus common, then you'll have to compensate with minus there, but it's ultimately the same thing. Then let's go with the acceleration. This will be cos and this will be minus sine. So ultimately, acceleration would be minus of alpha omega square cos omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap. Remember, that's going to be minus, and the minus has already been taken common. In other words, acceleration is minus of omega square r vector again. Now, let's try to go stepwise. The linear momentum vector is not conserved because Velocity is not constant there. So if you talk of linear momentum, it is not conserved. Then the angular momentum vector, that's conserved by the same previous logic. Reason, force is opposite to R vector. In other words, force is always acting on the point. Torque zero, angular momentum is conserved. Let's talk of kinetic energy. And that is conserved because the magnitude of this, this is going to be one. So the speed is constant. In other words, kinetic energy is conserved. Mechanical energy is conserved for sure because the force acting is only conservative. So that means potential energy also has to be conserved. So that was for option number R. Now, 
we have already found out the answer, so there is no point of matching. But the final option, S, let's see. This is alpha t i cap plus beta by 2 t square j cap. So here is the final one. Our vector is alpha t i cap plus beta t square by 2 j cap. Let's go again by the same technique. V vector, that is equal to alpha i cap plus beta t j cap. Acceleration is beta j cap. In other words, it's a constant acceleration. What about the linear momentum? That is not conserved. So linear momentum vector is not conserved because the velocity is not constant. What about angular momentum? Here, the force will certainly be doing work. So in that situation, force is doing work. And if you see about the torque, there is a torque which is non-zero about the horizon. So angular momentum would not be conserved. Then comes kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is not conserved. Reason being that the speed is not constant. And force is doing work. So therefore, the potential energy is not conserved either. And at the end, the mechanical energy has to be conserved in all situations. So for the S option, only the mechanical energy has been conserved. And the option had already been calculated. So there is no point going there. Option number A would be the correct one. So for question number 18, option number A is the correct option. Well, together with this, the discussion of JEE Advanced 2018 has been completed. Hope the discussion session was very useful. If you are the one who are aspiring for the future IIT, then I'm pretty sure that the discussions were very handy and useful. It's time to sign off. And yes, I pray to God for your wonderful future. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.